if you want to earn my vote, you need to send Joe to my door. <laughs> there are a lot of people that think like I do. Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, my name is John Jackson. Y'all know my name. This is another Black Brothers production. You're on the dirty couch, man. We have another superstar celebrity right here from the city of Augusta, Georgia. I'm here Cheers. with my uh, <laughs> good friend, Joe Traiana. He is the VP of Finance of Young Democrats of Georgia. He is an activist in Augusta. He's an operative. He's known as Mr. Fire and Brimstone. And as of tonight, he's the American Pitbull. I'll let him say a few words, then I'm going to ask him some questions. All right. Yeah, what an intro. Every time I see this man working, man, he's always working for the community. That's all I know him for, is he's working for the community, pushing for change. He's aggressive at what he does, man. Mr. Joey Trainer. That's right. Uh, aggressive. That's who I want running the party. You know what I mean? Like it's people who see through the BS just like him, who have a vision of the future, who know the issues. And the people he brought us ended up being some of our best canvassers and supervisors. So Joe Trainer offered you free housing, supplied you with employees, uh, gave you tips on the local party and how to organize and put you in touch with people. Oh, yes. He put me in touch with people. Actually, uh, Miss Alberta, like, we were just running downtown and we ran into her and only to find out her space was where the volunteer coordinated um, piece was going to be ran out of in addition to end up recruiting someone that she knew that night as well. So, mm -hmm. if it wasn't for Joe, there's a good amount of people that either would have not met talk to or they may have not ended up working for our organization. I'm running for Secretary of the State Party. What exactly got you into politics? Or uh, if you were calling mm -hmm. politics, mm -hmm. what got you into that? What led you to mm -hmm. start doing that? I have been involved since 07. Uh, when I was in Chicago, I started knocking doors for, uh, for Obama. And when I came back down, I worked in the office that was down here on Broad Street. Um, and when the Obama team left, when the actual paid Obama team left, I was there running it as a volunteer. After the campaign, I started getting involved in the local county committee. There's the voters, there's the county level, there's the state committee, and there's the DNC. County committees are arms of the state party, but there is only one party in Georgia. The Democratic Party of Georgia is the one singular entity that is the Democratic Party. Uh, it's just a misnomer to ever call yourself the Democratic Party of Athens, Clark County, because you're not the party, that's a different thing. You're a committee within the party. That's important to note because, and current executives don't want you to really understand this, Everything we do, they have to co-sign. <laughs> Everything. Um, we haven't run our party that way. We have run the party uh, in a way that assumes that the state party is doing it th its thing and the county is doing its thing. Legally, that's just not the case. <laughs> By our own bylaws, that's not the case. Um, and that's why I put this here and that's why we, I want folks to have the conversation. Because we, it's, it's important for us to demand more from our state leaders. Uh, it's important for our county folks to actually be coordinated with them. And if there's not coordination, we need to force them in the room and make them work. <laughs> because by definition, they are one. We are one thing. It actually also includes, I don't see it here, but there are 30, uh, there are 30 people that the, ch that the chair can just pick. And people didn't realize that. People don't realize that. Unless you read the bylaws. The chair who's elected, and we'll be electing another one January 26th, gets to just pick at random 30 voters in Georgia. So they don't have to be a county member. They don't have to be a state committee member. They can just be 30 people that they want, and they're just like that added to the state committee. The game is for you not to know <laughs> and not to care. What up, Facebook? Uh -oh. I'm here live at Jittery Joe's Coffee with my man, Joe Trena, who's on his tour heading to Cobb County this morning. Is that correct? That's sir? right. I'm going to the Cobb County Donuts uh, breakfast there. I hang out with my buddy, 
Mike Owens and then the rest of the gang over in Cobb County. And for those who may not know, Joe is running to serve as the next secretary of the Democratic Party of Georgia, which is huge. So any state committee members watching, um, I strongly urge you to support Joe. Uh, do you want to say a few words? I appreciate all the support I'm already getting from folks that are on the committee and folks that are helping me get on the ballot. I really appreciate it. To that point, some things about the state committee we wouldn't even know did I not submit my signatures early? That's, that's right. <laughs> um, I submit my signatures early, and had I and here's the thing: had I not done that, I wouldn't have gotten a few things from the from the top, uh, and I wouldn't have gotten some information that's been useful to other folks that are running uh, and looking for you know looking to get on the ballot as well. For example, <laughs> did you know that at present the only person that has uh, an accurate full membership list is the credentials chair. So that's not, a problem. not the committee at large, right? The committee itself doesn't know who's necessarily who necessarily makes up its body um, fully. Um, and there are very specific ways and very specific forms that uh, the executives uh, are looking to receive for anyone that's running for these seats. Um, and that that information was not distributed wisely. That's going to change. You, if you put me in office, if you elect me secretary, uh, it's not going to be a question about, you know, what page we all need to be on because we're all going to have notice well ahead of time, early. For example, like like I'm doing right here with my own run, making sure that, uh, you know, we're dotting every I, crossing every T. Um, so it's been interesting. And uh, for the folks following and the folks, you know, on the team and, and working um, to, you know, just, just make things more efficient, make things more honest, keep people, you know, on schedule. <laughs> keeping deadlines and all the rest. That's the culture of expectations uh, I'd like to be a part of and facilitate going into uh, the next administration. I'm endorsing and strongly urging your support for Joe Trena, DPG Secretary, accountability, transparency, and honestly just a really good person with a lot of integrity, which I think is important um, in these positions. That, that definitely plays a huge part in all this. So hope you all have a great weekend, and we will see you somewhere on another stop on the tour. Peace and love. Yes, I was recruited to be secretary twice for Richmond County. Uh, I've been the VP of Finance for the Young Dems. Um, we've also run statewide grassroots campaigns. This most, re re most recently I was in Massachusetts and New Hampshire uh, working the second time for a human rights campaign. The first time I was actually in my district um, helping with the Employment Non-Discrimination Act. I'm big on unity. <laughs> I'm big on bringing people together but I'm even more so big on the rules. Unfortunately, what is happening right now, which is more important than me pitching to you, is a lack of transparency and inclusion from the top down and back up. And that's something I will be serious about fixing for us. Um, there's no reason why it's as difficult for any of us to get a complete roster of the current state committee list. And unfortunately, <laughs> the only reason I was given the most current list was because I decided to run as someone who's not a state committee member and provide my 30 signatures well in advance of the deadline. If I hadn't done that, I wouldn't have gotten an email back explaining that the only person entrusted with that information at any given moment is actually our credentials chair. But the bylaws say opposite. The bylaws say that is the secretary's responsibility and they should be at every meeting. So I'm pledging to you, I'm promising to you, it's not just a pledge, it's not just a platform, I'm promising to you that if there is a state executive meeting, I will be there. I will not be uh, relying on staffers to be my proxy. I will be there. <laughs> I will make it happen. I will prioritize it for the next four years. It's not difficult. It's not that hard. But what I want to add to this role is a level of professionalism that hasn't been seen necessarily by these volunteer positions. Absolutely, they're volunteer positions. We're giving of our time freely. But I want to give my professional expertise, having run statewide grassroots uh, operations outside of and even most recently supervising shifts in Augusta for Abrams, that doesn't happen if communication is scant. It doesn't happen if we have systems that are not efficient. So a couple of things, again, I can promise to you right away. We are going to make our data secure, but we're also going to make it available. If you want something, if you want information from the party, you're going to get an obligatory response that we received your message. Right now, that doesn't exist.
We can coordinate the Google Calendar. We can use campaign skills and uh, we can use campaign mechanics to make sure that a large statewide team is aware of what we're doing. We are kidding ourselves if we think we can keep doing the same thing we've been doing for years. We've got to get used to holding each other to account, urging each other to be better. I want us to win, but I want us to win with principles. I want us to represent a party that people can be proud of. When we show up, we make, we make, change. We make change. When we show up, we, we make change. change. When we show up, we, we make change. change. Yeah. Well, Joe said, love you, Brian. We're going to turn this thing around.